Ah, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. He's straight under that damn boat, man. Right, you know what time it is. Actually, you don't know what time it is. It's four in the morning. <laughs> the wind's up a little bit. We're going to get in and out this morning um, before it picks up. Probably be blowing hard by about 11 o'clock. So let's get down the ramp, baby. I'm so sorry, boat. We should have had you out a long time ago. What was I thinking? Decent quality. Sorry, frozen bait. I kick myself every time I see this bait. I'm telling you, it's a weapon in my ass. Esky, we got the bait. We got the burly. And I just need the key. Predator looking down on us. So bait tank light on. Oh, beautiful. Now put those blue lights cracking. What are we doing here? Right. Gunnels, good to go. Good, bungs in. Take these straps off and loosen up the chain. Right. So strap off, winch handle ready to go. Stick that up here. Good, quick, cold minute. You must remember to take the winch handle back off this before I drive back up. Oh, I'm going to lose the, lose the bastard. Okay. I'm learning all my lessons is I don't want to be doing this shit when it's down on the ramp. Just want to do with one nut, one nut alone and get rid of it. There we go. One, two, three. Yeah, if the wind's up this much already, stick in the river to get out there before the sun starts to come up there you go you might better watch the stress on my face as I do this <laughs> it's been a little while in between doing this one of the most annoying reverse buttons and beeps ever you know what push it into the uh, sand and tie it up to the tree for a change See what I mean? Oh, shut up, shut up. You're stressing me out, mate. You're stressing me out. I'm gonna make sure I'm reasonably straight. I've got a reverse camera here too, and I'm old school, mate. I'm just looking behind me. But to all you youngsters, it doesn't hurt to look behind you as well. Actually, I'm going to straighten up because I need to practice lining these things up left to right. 
even though no one's here this morning, there's going to be mornings where there is people here. Should be plenty. Just go check this uh, thing and make sure we're on the money. It is a pretty low tide, so I went back a little bit further. But that's what we're looking at. That should give us enough buoyancy to get out. Okay. I just realised too that uh, my rope's a little bit too short to make it when the tide's out so I've got to get a, a longer rope if I ever want to tie it to one of these trees on the beach or put out the anchor or whatever but uh, I'd rather tie it off. Shallow, so. Remember, it's all learning. I'm not the most efficient, but I'm getting there. That felt like a quicker launch for uh, for me, anyway. Doing a solo. Let's see what I did. I had to do it three times, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Cool. I was going to uh, not wear a jumper this morning, I'm pretty glad I did. I've got a jacket on my vessel anyway. Look at that, mate. That's a way to get out. So, we've just got to take it easy on the way out. The little things, the little things you gotta remember. Always keep the motor running, especially in those winds. I remember last time at Botany Bay, I learned my lesson when that wind just dragged us all over the place. We're in point eight, point seven. It's at the bottom of the tide right now. So we really need to just get out around the point and get our journey cracking on down to the boat grounds. Mate, I, I literally like sprung out of bed this morning. So anyway, it's naughty jade, naughty pleasures. Thanks for coming on the mission if you haven't been on one before. So, there's point five here. we really got to, um, I know it's all about learning at the moment. Still pretty, so green and fresh on this boat. It's not funny. But, um, you know, I'm getting a lot of inspiration just from watching other people fish when I'm not fishing and thinking damn man I've got a boat I should be doing this and not just any boat this thing's built for it 
1.2 meters. This has been the deepest we've had since we left the ramp. Yeah, so pretty much, I know I'm going to be talking a bit over these couple of episodes, so bear with me because I won't be talking forever. So the name of the game for me at the moment is just learning the boat, learning the sound bar. That's why the channel's called Oceanic Evolution, because we're evolving. We're evolved from straight up river fishers and just fishing off the beach and stuff, which is good. It's still amazing. We've got the drone, we've still got a master. So the drone's going to open up some crazy beach fishing and rock fishing. But uh, there's a couple bit of technology I've got to master on the boat first, and that's the sounder. Um, getting used to the boat, of course, and um, the Minn Kota when I get a repair because I've already broken it. I get the ending. That's why I say in the description if you come in to watch the channel, the descriptions evolve with me as we come out and do all this stuff because a lot of the stuff I'm doing at the moment was for the first time. You know, not so long ago I got my first Dewey, not so long ago before that I got my first Kingy. You know, a lot of the credits come from uh, fishing with Mo, and bef even before that, they got me early in the fishing was Bawley uh, from Queensland. So that's potatoes, get down in the brown. And that guy is a gun fisher. He's all over. And the lucky bastard could cast now. So anyway, enough of the talking. Enjoy the views, and uh, see you at the place spot. at our little favourite part of the river before we take off. I've seen a lot of top water activity so I'm going to try and make the most of it and catch some mullet straight away. At least then I've got something I can fiddle around with all day. Maybe get a big flatty. Head over to another spot when we start breeding up there might be yakkers, kingies might even turn up. So uh, yeah, let's give them a little crack. Mullet in one second. All right, I'll get some bread out. I'm going to even flick a uh, cup bait as always. You never know what's swimming around here. We'll get a bunch of mullet and then we'll piss off around the corner, start heading up the river. get some blood on this thing. Get the bait defrosting. Try and get some bait. We're not gonna have the bait strand, the big large bait strand it is very long. Take advantage of this place this morning. Everyone's at the party, no one's eating the appetizer.
first bogey in the boat, baby. Okay. I think it's time we put out a bit of cut bait until we get some more liveish and then we're gonna gun around the corner. That's fresh mullet, mate. All right, the historical moment has arrived. Our first naughty uh, pleasure bait being cut on the board. And do something like that. From the, the wind doesn't get to it. Poseidon can have the head. Let's get this out on the depths while we get a bunch of bait. Little something like that. Just gonna get that right over in that current. Right on the corner. Spool doesn't come off. So looking good. Up size. Oh yes. Swallow that. That was a big one. That was a big bait. They're the size we want though. I don't really want them that big for live bait, but uh, we'll throw a couple back if we keep able to get some smaller ones. So much uh, fresh frozen bait at home, the freezers are chopped up now. Couple more, and we're going to swing around the corner. The tide's already starting to work its way out of the sand bay again. Pretty quick. Let's throw out one more bait on this while we get bait, and then we're going around the corner. Going to waste too much of the time here. Another fresh, delicious, clear eyed bait. Look at that. Wouldn't back, knock back any more of those blue swimmers either.
water is so clear, it's amazing. Pretty much got a uh, bait, maybe just one more because I'm greedy. Now we're gonna move. Beautiful. That's the side. Uh, I think we've got two to three of these beautiful, perfect sized uh, mullet. A couple of bit bigger ones, but um. Yeah, let's go put some of these out. Let's change spots. We'll start running a birdie trail when we get the next spot. So he's probably getting taps. Mm, what the boot? I'll just check out this bait um, hole pretty quick. Great bunch of lobbies in there. We've got, how many have we got? One, two, three. We've got seven mullet ready to go. See that, Paulie? I didn't need a cast net like some people from Brisbane. Let's go on. Let's switch spots, get the rods in. Sun's coming up over the hill. It's time to move. I'm going to try and stop an anchor, it goes to flat ground on the sound of I want that to drop off at the ridge. Sandals just showing some crazy, crazy stuff as well. Gonna drop this one over to this side. That bait's already been snatched off there. I've got one out a little bit shorter and straight down. The other one I gave it a little past. So, um, 
one bites out on a little bit of a short leash. Another one. Oh. It's over here. Not doing much now, but there were some uh, crazy multiple big arches. All sorts of crap looking like it was coming through. I don't, know. I don't even know what I'm looking at yet. It's going to take time for me to learn this thing. Give it, say, another 10 minutes here. If nothing goes off, we'll move the spots. That's the name of the game all day. We're going to move, move, move. Keep checking the sand up. We'll show you what's going on on the sand up whenever we hit a new spot. And anyone who knows anything about sand is all tell me what the hell's going on. Because I'm only guessing. I watch a lot of other people's videos with all that sort of stuff, so I'm getting a, a rough idea, but I'll never truly know until I can uh, stop, read it, know if something hits, know we're in the right spot, know the right depth uh, in the water column for the fish. Yeah. Pretty damn spectacular bird out here, really. Be time to switch some spots. Let's have a look at this guy. This is the one that got grabbed. Scales missing. I don't know what this means. Is that my anchor line going out? I must master getting this anchor right. goes from 1.4 meters to um, 13, 16 meters like pretty quick. It doesn't matter, like you know it doesn't matter. Of course we want to catch fish but it doesn't matter in the beginning. We're just trying to find out how we can work out between the transducer and the drop off, stopping in the right spot, anchoring up, being up at a fish, pretty much whatever we want, the flats and the drop off at the same time. this as we go over it. I think that's my anchor coming down. Hope might have spun around and then the anchor's dropped down. Featureless flat ground. Holy shit. Don't know what all this means. a dead flat all the time.
at the back. Get some early gown. Bits on. Prawns, delicious. I got all sorts of stuff today, mate. Bit of Serena, Guineas, bit of cat food, some biscuits. We've got to get out of here. This place is infested. Infested with these little guys. It's no good for us. Warming up quick. We're going to move spots. They are pretty, but it's the wrong size. And I um, want something bigger. Sound is showing all sorts of crazy shit. But I do believe they all are all pinkies. Alright, let's go um, see if we can find anything else. Fresh little cat boat on the other rod. Check it out. Might have a little feed, relax for a sec. Might be still holding up. Very good. Just take this off in a sec. Boy. Early bucket, straight back out. Oh, it's pretty slow on the bite today. Lots of little stuff around when I was getting bait. But been pretty dead. Look at this spot now for probably just a bit over an hour. The wind's picking up steadily. I'm going to um, pick up the anchor pretty soon. And I'm going to make my way down to another spot down the river and try and get out of the wind and see if we can get a bit of a steady position. Maybe fish a hole or something. Yeah. Nothing's happening here. 
dead. That's the dead zone. Oh, I just pulled up my livey and there was a hungry squid all over it. I've got to get a jig on quick. Get it there. There is no time to waste. Let's get on it. Squid have been ferociously all over these boats. Well, it takes a bit of time to move to this other spot, eh? It's a single hook for this guy. We'll throw this in the direction of the bars. single hook and one I'll check out. Move up to a snail hook if we need to. more. That's pretty much fish of the day at the moment. Tiny snappers. <laughs> Fill the times down and then we'll um, make a maneuver. Silver Trevally. on a bit of reef yeah, to where the thing's been anchoring on a rock or something how cool is that stuff Feet over the back of the transom, drink some coconut water. Oh, yeah.
that's going to do us. It's just after one o'clock. The wind's been up for a bit. I really got to get back home. But, uh, see you in the next one. Too bad, this was not catching nothing. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Now that's a clean bloody bait ball.